Hello once again and today we're going to be taking a look at a, um, a, about a 10 year old device this. Um, so this is the Belkin N wireless um, USB adapter model number F5D8053. Yes so um, a wireless adapter and you can see it is, it is showing its age, it is quite um, a large device. Uh, for a wireless adapter, um, I mean today's ones you get them about the size of the USB thing itself. Um, so yeah, but what I'm going to be showing you that you can use this device today with Windows 10. So a 10 year old device can still be used. Um, so let's have a look what else you got with this. So it come with this um, extended cable if you were to um, um, want to be discreet about it, if you want it on show you can put that and that you can hide that and that just plugs straight into there like that um, you can't see that <laughs> just up the camera so you can see that so it plugs in there the cable is quite long and you can stick this little bit up here and yeah, so you can see that. Right, hang on. Right, let's plug it in. Right, see the light come on. Yeah, so you get that. I think that light flashes sometimes when it's in um, when you've set it all up. Also it comes with a disc. So this was to be the disc that you would use, and it's some, and it not only installed the drivers. It also install, installed a bit of software. Um, with Windows 10, you don't need the software, just the drivers, because obviously Windows 10 has got its own built-in software to um, manage your wireless connections. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how exactly you do this. Right, first things first, you have to call up your device manager. Find um, your wireless card, your wireless adapter rather, right click and go to update driver browse my computer and what we got to do is go to the disk so in my case um, this PC um, there we go and go OK so that'll be the E drive go to next and what it's doing it's going to search for your driver Windows has accepted has successfully updated your device. Close. So now here we are. As we can see, you now it's found the device. Um, so next things we're going to do. Right now we got it sorted. Now you want to get it um, up and running. So we're going to click, right click on that. Go to network and internet settings. That can take you to this screen. Um, um, so you're going to go change adapter options. So as we can see there, Wi-Fi. So because it's not connected to any um, to the router or anything, you click that. We there we go. Just wait a minute. Show available networks, and that'll come up. Um, in the corner here so just to see it works you can see all the networks available right there so what you basically do is choose one choose yours and um, put in your codes and etc and away you go once you're connected you can see that little Wi-Fi symbol appear what I would do once it's connected once you all set it once it's all set up restart your computer once you restart your computer Make sure you've got the, if you've got the Ethernet wire plugged in, unplug the cable, but just keep the wireless in. Restart your computer and it'll come up straight away. Um, just run your internet, whatever you want, Internet Explorer I'm going to be running. As you can see, it's coming up, all works. So basically, if you've got um, an old, one of these old wireless adapters, don't throw it away, use it, 
it works. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.